You know, a warm home is something many of us take for granted, but if you are struggling with a furnace that is on the fritz, a day like today when it is so cold can really be filled with worry. For the seventh year, we're teaming up with Apollo Heating and Air in Oakdale to relieve that stress for three Twin Cities households. Starting today with a big surprise and to make it even better, I bring a familiar friend. I am here with my good friend Des from KS95. Des, we are in beautiful Newport. Oh. Beautiful this time of year. Oh, it's just lovely. <laughs> it is so cold outside. I can't even... I'm shaking. I know. Listen, <laughs> if there was any day to give away a furnace, today would be the day. We pulled out the old phone. It is, Des? Six below. Actual air temperature. Oh, my oh And way colder with the wind chill. So... I just can't even imagine not having a working furnace in this kind of weather. It should never be the case. No, or being worried about it not working. So listen, what we're going to do is we're going to alleviate that worry for a very special woman today. Her name is Jacqueline, and we are here with her family. Hi, guys. Okay, so this is Bridget, Jacqueline's daughter, and Bridget sent us such a sweet note about your mama. You tell me about your mama. Well, she's been a true caregiver to the entire family, always throughout the years, my brother, my dad, taking care, always working. And she, back in August, got sick at work and couldn't work any longer and was actually in the hospital for 10 days, congestive heart failure, and wow. it's just been a long recovery road for her. You wrote to us, the team from Apollo said, <laughs> we're in, we're gonna give Jacqueline a new furnace. What is your mom, Jackie, gonna say when we all show up? Hello, we're here. I'm afraid she might faint. <laughs> What we're gonna do is all caravan over to Jackie's house. We've got her family here. We've got the team from Apollo here. They have a truck ready with a furnace. Des and I are here, and we are going to surprise the pants off this lady. Be ready for us, we're coming. Keep your pants on, Jackie. All right, Bridget, family, Apollo team, let's go. Here we are. What's she gonna say? What's she gonna do? We should have brought a confetti cannon and a bullhorn. <laughs> In the cake. Uh, Jackie, it's cold outside. Come on, answer the door, Jackie. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. How are you? Oh, well, don't you look lovely today? Oh, yeah. to lunch and she wanted me ready early. Hi, <laughs> Jackie. I'm Elizabeth Reese from Twin Cities know. Live. How are you? Hi, I'm Des. I know. I wish you girls all the time. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look, I'm already getting a hug. Now, Jackie, we heard that you have been struggling a little bit with your furnace, that it's a pretty old one. Yeah, since 1973. Oh, my gosh. And you've been worried about it working. Yes. And we have some good news for you. Your daughter, Bridget, wrote to us and told us about what an amazing mama you are, how you take care of everybody, and how, boy, was she scared with your health scare earlier this year. And our friends from Apollo Heating and Air Conditioning in Oakdale heard about your story. They want to give you a brand new furnace today. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. But just every day I pray that it's going to keep going at least till we get to warmer weather when we can. Yeah. So this is such a blessing. Thank you so much. How you doing? You having fun? Yeah. Okay, I love my friends at Apollo because they do amazing things like this. So we're down here with this, this old furnace. It's been here since the 1970s and it has seen better days. Uh, tell me what we're looking at. Well, we've got an old, old furnace that's inefficient. We've got a few things we need to replace to, you know, just for safety issues or just for code issues. We've got a gas valve here that's, you know, a gas shut off that could leak gas, potential gas leaking. A furnace like this is only heating part of the house. It, it cannot keep up, and that's why she's been so cold. Well, and as we walk in the house, you can see the icicles on the windows out mm -hmm. there. So now the efficiency isn't what it needs to be. It's not running the way it should be. It's like an old car that's leaking oil. But we'll put in a nice furnace up to 96, 97% efficient. She's deserving of a new furnace. She is. You guys are like the people at Apollo. I love this. Like little furnace angels coming in to save the day. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Thank you. Well, that's about as good as it gets right there. The team from Apollo Heating and Air join us now. How about this? Uh, the team, the, what we've done through the seven years of collaborating together on this is have given out over $100,000 in products Can you and service. That? I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, so Clay from Apollo is here. Now, it is very cold out. We are all running our furnaces nonstop right now. So how do we prevent them from going out? What's something that you should go down to the basement and do today uh, to make sure that we are using it well? For sure. Check your filter. Check um, your filter. Yep. You know, it's... it's 
like you just said, they're running nonstop. Yeah. So yeah. what it's done this past month might have taken three or four months before. They are running nonstop. So you think even if you have like those filters that say they can last for 90 days or so, if you replaced Correct. it last month, check go it. and check it, it again? Check it. Yep. Okay. Oh okay. I am painfully behind on that schedule. I do not like to hear that number. Uh, I, something else I think I might be doing incorrectly, maybe you at home are doing the same. I'll play the thermostat game where sometimes I'll drop it really low if we're leaving the house for a while and then I'll turn it back up whenever we get back there. What is happening to my furnace when I do that? It is working extra hard. Oh. So while you leave, not only is the air in the house getting much colder, all your furniture, your tables, everything is now 60, 65, whatever you set it to. So right. now you've got to heat all that mass back up into your house along with the air. Yeah. So your furnace is running nonstop once again. So you're not really saving any energy. You're making it work harder once again. Okay. And you're uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. No kidding when you walk Goodness in the door. Gracious. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank Thanks you guys again for, what for you teaming do. up. Yeah, this is just fantastic. So here's the good news. TCL and the team from Apollo, we have two more furnaces to give away this winter. Head to the contest page of TwinCitiesLive.com and tell us about somebody that you know who can't rely on their furnace. The deadline to enter coming up February the 11th. And if you need someone to make sure your furnace can survive the winter, call the team from Apollo right now. Receive over $2,000 in manufacturer and utility rebates when you purchase a new heating and cooling system from Apollo. You can call them at the number on your screen right there if you want to learn some more. And a big thanks to Apollo heating and air conditioning for sponsoring Twin Cities Live and helping to keep people warm. Make sure you give Jackie a big wave. She's a big Twin Cities Live fan, so say hi, Jackie. Jackie! We love you! How are you? Wish I could have been there. Come Hope see us you're in the warm. studio. Yeah, come see us. <laughs>